What's going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Some of you may have recently seen my community post about my Model 3 Mew needing a new HV battery. So he's going to be down for several weeks while we wait for Tesla to get that battery in and then install it. I plan to put out a quick video at some point explaining what exactly happened and why I need a new battery. But I also want to keep the channel flowing and growing and avoid stagnation at all costs because it's been doing really well. So while we wait for Mew's surgery or heart transplant as I've called it, I figured why not look at the FSD beta over time and have some fun comparing them. What you're seeing on the screen is my first attempt at really showing how the beta has changed over nearly a year. On the left is my first ever attempt of this particular course and it didn't even have a name at the time on version 10.5 from December of 2021. This is before I even got the yoke as you can see on the screen. And this was also well before I was known at all, so this video didn't even get 100 views. It is much older, and you can tell, but it's really cool to go back and watch it and compare it to what's going on now to get an idea for how things have changed. This 10.5 video was the start of the Friars Challenge and the Gauntlet videos to come and the bread and butter of my challenge series. So I highly recommend everyone to go check out the original video. The link to that video and the most recent one where I've taken the lap of 2.4 will be in the description below. So go check them out, have some fun, let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get into this. And all right, we're starting off here in the staging area as I've referred to it in the past, making our way to the 163 encounter, both the left turn and the 163 merge. Through here with 2.4, recently I've noticed it has a tendency to get a little jittery next to the parked cars and sort of inch over, whereas 10.5 I noticed manages to stay pretty well centered and smooth it's, it's kind of surprising you also notice a big difference in the screens because on 10.5 during that period of time like 75 percent of the screen was the fsd beta visualization versus the right where we can spread it out to make it the whole screen or back it off you can, you can also see how much the 2.4 yoke is jolting and jittering whereas 10.5 seems pretty smooth Oh, and here we have an LV on 10.5. Let's see what's going to happen. Ah, disengagement took over as 2.4 dives into the 163 on-ramp. That was really good. That, that was a really good day. Back in 10.5's time, that turn was pretty bad. And this, up until 10.11, was impossible. So we're coming into the actual 163 merge here. And with 10.5, yep, there's the disengagement. It was not going to get over. There was a car coming up real fast behind me. But on 2.4, if you guys remember, that Subaru had slowed down and really caused the system to break and wait and then get over. And it still executed, which was really good. Now, coming down through here, nothing really has changed, of course. This is highway code. This is separate. NOA code, as we've called it. It is pretty cool, though, seeing both vehicles kind of getting over at the same time. Goes to show that, you know, there really hasn't been, to the best of our knowledge, much iteration on the highway code. Now, coming down through here, this is where things have been an issue for a long time. Since the beginning, as you'll see, with the 8 East split and then the Hotel Circle on-ramp, off-ramp. So coming through, looks like 2.4 is just a little bit ahead of 10.5. Let's see what happens with the 8 East split here. Still kind of trippy looking at the yoke versus the steering wheel. <laughs> here it is. 2.4 is first to it. And disengaged followed swiftly by 10.5. So that's unfortunate and continues to be a bit of a coin toss as whether or not that's going to actually work properly. Because you guys have seen it do it in the past. And here we go. This is typically where we have an issue with it accelerating which it is on 10.5, and yep, there's the disengagement going in way too fast. 2.4 goes in hot, but it corrects itself. That was pretty good. You can also see the addition of those uh, yellow cautionary turn signs that are not on 10.5. Also pretty evident that these are both taken around the same time of the year. <laughs> not much seasonal change in San Diego, but our, our winter to our summer, it's more like a summer to a fall a warm fall now the last two points to look at are going to be the hairpin turn and the final double left which the last left really isn't too big of a deal on oh, 10.5 right there just hit the brakes really hard because of that car coming up next to us 
It was really cautious. I remember that being a little jolting. But this is the last real challenge here. How will it handle the hairpin? The double left is okay. It's more so how late it gets over. But this is still a constant struggle. Now it completes the maneuver. And even on 2.4 here, I don't have to intervene. But you'll notice it kind of keeps hitting the brakes and stopping several times and then pushes through. But check out 10.5. I was not expecting this when I watched this back. We flow through. Are you kidding me? 10.5 from December of 2021. Amazing. If we could just get that consistency back. Oh, man. And you know, it could have been a one-off there, too. It's I didn't do the gauntlet or the three-lap testing yet. But you'll see here, both systems mirror the same late decision-making with getting over. And a viewer's brought up before that previous construction layout could have caused the maps to log that as the point that it could get over. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense. But it executes here identically. And then we pull through and complete this turn. And that's basically all she wrote for the Friars Challenge. The, the last bit really going through here takes us to the actual Fashion Valley Supercharger. Where, you know, typically I would plug in and that's it. But it was really cool. It was super... Bleh, sorry, guys. Super... I can't talk. It was super nostalgic <laughs> and fun to watch this back and to compare the two systems. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, what you think of this kind of a video in general. Because even when the car is back up and running, I could still do something like this. This was a lot of fun. Uh, but thanks again for your patience in these hard times. I know it'll be a few weeks before Muse back up and running. But, you know, I'll, I'll do what I can to keep the channel alive, content flowing, and having fun. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.